Thanks for watching Flight Plan Video Support. In today's video, we will run through the basics on how to create a flight plan. The benefits of creating a flight plan on FlightPlan.com are Flight Plan's easy to navigate website paired with having all of your data stored and quickly accessible. When creating your flight plan, you have routes from other users and recently planned ATC routes displayed on your flight plan entry page an instantly generated navlog containing selectable online charts that will display your flight plan against your desired map, accurate fuel burn estimations, your estimated time en route, and more. To get started, log into your flightplan.com account. On the left side of the main menu page, you will see the dashboard. Click on the flight planning tab and the flight planning options will be displayed. From here, click on Create a Flight Plan. On the New Flight Plan page, select the basics of your flight, including whether it is an ICAO, domestic, or VFR flight plan, the date in which you plan to fly, your aircraft tail number, and your departure and arrival airports. After you have completed filling in all of this information, click the Press Here When Done button. The next page is the Flight Plan Entry page. Here is where you plan and enter the bulk of information for your flight plan. The altitude and speed are automatically defaulted based on your aircraft type and the direction in which you are flying. Fill in your estimated time of departure in local time, your fuel burn in hours and minutes, your souls on board, and your alternate if applicable. Then enter your route into the route box. You can choose to fly direct or enter in your own route. There is also the option to use preferred routes, recent routes by FlightPlan.com users, as well as the five most recent planned ATC routes. To use one of those suggested routes, click on the circle to the left of the route you wish to use, and that route will populate into the route box. If using a SID or STAR in your route, always make sure you have the correct ICAO data entered into your flight plan to meet the necessary requirements for that SID or STAR. ICAO data can be entered back on the main menu page under Settings, Aircraft ICAO Data. You will be redirected to the ICAO and Aircraft Data page where all of the aircraft you have entered into your FlightPlan.com account will display. Select the aircraft you wish to enter the data for and press here when done when finished. Make sure to enter your home aircraft base and your RNAV capabilities. Be sure to enter information for your emergency contact person here as well. Once you have finished filling out your ICAO data, it will be saved for future flights. Press here when done when finished. Back on your flight plan entry page, once your flight plan is completed, click on the Press Here for Navlog button. You will then be redirected to the Navlog for the flight plan you just created. From the Navlog page, you can view your route from the map builder by clicking on any of the background layer tabs as seen here by viewing our route on the Victor Airways. Back on the Navlog page, you can view and print out your ICAO listing from the button on the bottom, or you can choose to save your flight plan. To save the flight plan, Press Save in the upper right hand corner and you'll be brought back to the main menu page where your new flight plan will display. From the main menu page, you can modify your flight plan by clicking on the circle beneath the Modify label, display your navlog by choosing a display option, or file your flight plan by selecting your flight plan for filing and then clicking Press Here when done. Thanks for watching Flight Plan Video Support on the basics of how to file a flight plan. If you have any questions, please email support at fltplan.com.